It is nearly 2020 and what a year 2019 has been. Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training and occasionally some cosplay as well. So as a quick review of this channel over this year, I think I started the year at about 70 or so subscribers. I'm now at much closer to 250. I've put out about 65 videos this year which I didn't really think it was that many, but that's a lot more than I thought. So I'm pretty happy with that. In terms of events, I've done a few. So I had the Triathlon Club Championships uh, in March, which actually became a duathlon, not a triathlon, because the swim portion had to be canceled due to the lake having blue-green algae. Uh, I had the Ironman, so the big event, the one that I'm currently wearing a shirt about, uh, that was in May, so I completed my first ever full Ironman in May this year at the Holt Macquarie. Uh, a couple of weeks after that, I had the Sydney Morning Herald Half Marathon, which was good fun. And I ran the Sydney Morning Herald Half Marathon in costume, in a Forrest Gump costume, raising money at that point for Neura. After that, I got my Ironman tattoo, so on my arm, still awesome. And then it was a bit of a break until the next event, which was the City to Surf, where I ran it as per usual in my lion dance costume, raising money for uh, Australian Cancer Research Foundation. After that, I had my Blackmore's Marathon. So it was a Guinness World Record attempt where I was attempting to reset my Guinness World Record title for fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform. Unfortunately, I missed out by, I think it was about 25 minutes. So that was a bit of a bummer, but it was still an awesome event and I still ran about a four hour marathon which has helped me qualify for the six foot track marathon, which I'm doing in 2020. And then finally to round out the year, I did the Western Sydney Half Ironman uh, on pretty much not that much training. Uh, so barely any swimming at all, actually no swimming since May, uh, barely any cycling and actually, actually a fair bit of running. Um, which I finished in my goal of under six hours, so very happy with that. Across the year, some other fairly major things that happened. I flew to New Zealand twice, uh, England once, Germany once, Spain once, and across various states around Australia. Also, I had a few things with the Star Wars costuming, as you've seen in the more recent vlogs. Uh, so I've got two costumes approved with the Star Wars costuming groups. Uh, one with the Rebel Legion, which is the good guys, one with the 501st Legion, which is the bad guys. And also I managed to get myself into trooping at the red carpet premiere for the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker release here in Australia and various other events throughout the year within Australia. And then also this year I managed to get myself a promotion at work. So that is my 2019 in review, I think a pretty good year. How has your 2019 been? What sort of things have you achieved this year? Let us know in the comments section down below. And now the next thing, of course, is to look forward. So achievements for 2020. What do you want to achieve? What have? What will you achieve? So in general, setting New Year's goals. Now, a lot of people set New Year's goals and it's very common for people to set a goal and then sort of forget about it. I mean, have a look at how many people are in the gym in the first few weeks of the year versus how many people keep going to the gym after that. It's always packed for the first few weeks of the year, but then after that, it really drops off and you've got a lot more space to do things. Now, while this happens quite a lot and it kind of says that a lot of people fail on their New Year's resolutions, by the same token, New Year's resolutions are the main resolutions that get followed the most. So if you make a New Year's resolution, it's much more likely that you're going to follow that resolution compared to making it at any other time of the year. And especially since we're going into a new sort of decade, so the 2020s, now is an excellent time to set yourself an awesome goal to achieve and really, really follow through on. And there are certain things you can do to help you in being more likely to achieve those goals. So the main ones for me is to set SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T. So there are a few things that, that can stand for, but the main ones that I know of are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. So specific, is it a specific goal? Make it something specific, make, don't make it too vague. Like if you just say, I wanna lose weight in 2020, 
that's not very specific. You're not gonna be able to follow that too easily and you're gonna be easily forgetting about it. So make it much more specific. Maybe I'm gonna lose two kilos a month over 2020. That's a bit more specific. Make sure that it is measurable. So what you can measure, you can manage. And if you can actually see progress along the way, you're more likely to follow through with it and keep following through with it. Uh, achievable, is it achievable across the year or in the time frame that you're setting for it? Is it even achievable monetarily? Is it achievable by you? Uh, is it relevant? So is it relevant to you? Uh, that's is it something that's personal to you? Is it something that you actually want? And is it timely? Can it be done in the time frame that you have set up for it? So having these more definitive goals will help you in achieving them in the 2020s and beyond. Another thing that can help is to write down your goals and write them down somewhere that is visible to you. Maybe write them down on a piece of paper and slap them on your wall. Or something like that or put them on your phone but put them on like the background of your screen so that you're constantly looking at them the more that you can see them the more that you can when you're writing them down it's much more easy to define them first of all and see how realistic they are and then when it is visible to you it's when it's constantly visible to you you're constantly being reminded of it so it's much less likely that you will forget about them which is one of the biggest problems with me is that I will start a goal, I'll be enthusiastic about it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll forget it once in a week, oh well, then the next time I'll forget it twice in a week, oh well, then I'll forget it three times, then it just escalates from there to me just completely forgetting about it. So having it as a constant reminder to you, that will mean that it is constantly being brought up and you will constantly be trying to get better at it. So what are my goals for 2020? Well. For the channel, just in general, I would like to get back more into the habit of making my main videos. So I've made two types of videos on my channel. There's the vlog videos, which are the ones with the red borders, like this one. And there's the main topic videos, which are the ones with the blue borders. Now, I've found myself a bit busy and gotten out of the habit of making my blue border videos. So I'm going to be aiming to make more of those throughout the year. So I'm going to attempt to make one once a week as I was before, but at the minimum, maybe once a fortnight, I will be making a blue main topic video and keeping up with the weekly red bordered vlog videos, these ones. I also want to keep continuing to try and make my content more and more uh, relevant, relatable, understandable, um, and engaging to the viewers. So I want to try and just increase the quality of my videos as much as possible every time I make a new video. So I want to be able to get people, I mean, the main goal of this channel is to get people into triathlon and understand triathlon and other endurance events and sports. So getting people into those, if I can help more people get into those sorts of sports, then my goals are achieved. Now in terms of events for 2020, I do have a few lined up or that I would like to do. So the first of course, which I've mentioned recently is the six foot track marathon in late March, which will be my first ever ultra marathon, my first ever trail run. So it's my first ever ultra trail run as well. And then throughout the year after that, I've got plenty of other goals such as in May, there is the full Ironman. I will not be doing the full Ironman, but I will be there to help support those that are doing the full Ironman. Uh, then later on in May, there is the Club Champs. So it's been moved from March to May and it's been moved from Orange uh, inland all the way out on the coast to Foster. And so therefore it is most likely to actually be a triathlon next year. And I wanna be there to do that triathlon. Then as usual, there's a bit of a gap between May and my next event, which will uh, most likely be the City to Surf in August, which once again, I will be running in a lion dance costume and raising money for charity for Australian Cancer Research Foundation. Then once again, I want to have another crack at the Blackmores Marathon in uh, September. I want to try and get my Kung Fu uh, Marathon record back. So I'm going to either try and reset my Guinness World Record title for fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform, or maybe try and find another record that I can set. Who knows? There's a whole bunch out there that need to be set and I might be the one to set them. Then in October, 
I would like to actually be a part of the Nepean Triathlon this next year, so I want to actually do it again. It was great when I did it in 2018. Um, I watched it in 2019. I was there as just part of the support group, but I want to do it again. So Nepean Triathlon in 2020. Uh, if I can afford it, I will also be doing the Western Sydney Half Ironman again. Although those sorts of events, the Half Ironmans and Full Ironmans, all the Ironman branded events, they're not cheap. So if I can afford that, I will do that, but I'll assess that throughout the year. Now in non-triathlon goals, um, with my Star Wars costuming groups, so I want to put together a Mandalorian costume. If you've seen the TV series, The Mandalorian, it is amazing. And I've had friends who've got Mandalorian costumes that have been asking me to put a costume together for years. And I've always said, eh, next year. So, next year. <laughs> next year, I will be putting together a Mandalorian costume uh, for the Star Wars groups. And also next year as part of my Kung Fu. So yes, I do Kung Fu. I'm black belt at Jiao Ga Kung Fu Academy here in Sydney in Australia. And since I started my triathlon training, I've just stagnated. I haven't done much. I've been going every single week, but I haven't graded. I haven't started going up the ladder anymore. I was really achieving a lot recently, but I just stopped. So 2020, I want to at least grade once. So I go up a new black belt level. Uh, so that'll be that'll put me onto my fifth black belt level. I'm currently my fourth black belt black belt level. Uh, so yeah, I just want to start actually making progress again on my black belt with the goal of one day eventually becoming a sifu of my kung fu, being able to teach on my own, in my own school. And now to you, what are your goals in 2020? What do you want to achieve and what will you achieve in 2020? Let us know in the comments section down below. And are there any achievements you want to get between now and the end of 2020? You only got a couple of days. I know I've got one for the rest of this year. Now this afternoon, I'm going to finally get myself a haircut. I will see you on the other side. Oh, that is much better. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one and in the new year. Cheerio.